WWE fans want Seth Rollins to become the new world heavyweight champion. Sasha Banks, a free agent. Backstage update on Vince McMahon's status for WWE Raw. Logan Paul teases winning the new world heavyweight championship. WWE superstar publicly demands a WWE release. WWE makes Roman Reigns even more powerful following Triple A's announcement. Let's jump right into it. Sasha Banks, a free agent. Former WWE superstar Sasha Banks, currently known as Mercedes Moen, is about to become a free agent. After walking out on WWE and failing to renegotiate her contract, Mon made her NGPW debut at Wrestle Kingdom 17. She attacked KIRI Akakari Sane and announced that she had signed to both NGPW and Stardom. She defeated Sane at the Battle of the Valley on February 18th to become the new IWGP Women's Champion. However, Mon dropped the title to Mayu Uwatani at Stardom All Star Grand Queendom of the weekend. Her reign lasted 64 days and it seems like she's set to become a free agent as per Fightful Select. The report noted that Mon had no more dates left with Stardom but signed an extension that would allow her to appear at Resurgence in Long Beach, California on May 21st. It should also be noted that both sides are open to negotiating another extension. Fightful Select also reported that people from NGPW and Stardom were very happy with the former WWE superstar. She also had a great experience working in Japan amid reports of her wanting to move there full-time. The draft is set to start on SmackDown this Friday. One of the rumored names from NXT that could get drafted to the main roster is Cora Jade. It was reported last year that Triple A sees her as the next Sasha Banks. Jade has been working in NXT since debuting last year. She's a former NXT Tag Team Champion with Roxanne Perez. She's also just 22 years old and full of potential. She could definitely be one of the top stars in the women's division moving forward if she gets drafted this year. Would you like to see Mercedes Moen return to WWE or continue working for NGPW and stardom? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Backstage update on Vince McMahon's status for WWE Raw. Vince McMahon is reportedly not backstage for the April 24th episode of WWE Raw in Chicago and made several changes to the show. McMahon was allegedly back in creative when WWE was purchased by Endeavor and merged with the UFC back on April 3. WWE Raw after WrestleMania 39 was heavily panned by fans and many speculated that McMahon was running the show. Since then, McMahon has reportedly handed the keys of creative back to Triple H. However, that might not be the case for the April 24th episode of WWE Raw in Chicago. According to PLV Insider, McMahon made several major changes to tonight's show. He's not present backstage and is working remotely, probably from his home or the company office in Stanford. The mood backstage is reportedly not the same as the April 3rd episode, but there was some unhappiness in the locker room. Wrestling Incorporated speculated that with WWE Raw happening in a top market like Chicago, Vince McMahon would want to be in charge of the show. Backlash is also less than two weeks away, so it's possible McMahon wants to prepare for WWE's first event in Puerto Rico since 2000. 2005. Vince McMahon reportedly sent a company-wide email noting that Triple H is completely in charge of creative. WWE CEO Nick Khan revealed in an interview with Like Should Live that Triple H is the chief content officer and McMahon won't force himself back into it. Khan did add that Triple H often seeks advice from his father-in-law due to the nature of their relationship. In addition to being family, Triple H and McMahon have been working together since the late 1990s. While there have been a lot of reports about Vince being in full control of creative just like in the past, he has only been making changes remotely. He has not been backstage since the April 3rd episode of WWE Raw. Who do you think is really in charge of WWE since the Endeavor merger? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Logan Paul teases winning the new World Heavyweight Championship. Triple H made headlines today by introducing a new World Heavyweight Championship during Raw. While Roman Reigns is still the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the introduction of a new title has opened up the possibility for a new star to crown. Logan Paul has now reacted to the unveiling. Every superstar who has felt that they can't win a world title with Reigns as the champion will have their eyes fixed on this new opportunity, and that's already happening. Logan Paul may have signed a new contract with WWE, but he only appears at times thanks to the part-time nature of the deal. It seems from his reaction that he is focused on winning the title. He posted a picture of the new title and tagged Triple A with a side eye emoji. The message was clear that he wanted the new title. Even if he does, though, the star will likely have a lot of competition, with every star not holding a title right now looking to compete for it in the coming weeks. As of now, it's unclear, but whoever wins the new title could easily be the new fighting champion, with rumors of Roman Reigns taking time off frequently. Do you think Triple A has unveiled the championship that Logan Paul will win in WWE? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. The WWE superstar publicly demands a WWE release. The WWE universe was taken by surprise today when two superstars said that they had asked for their releases, but the company denied them. The schism members Rip Fowler and Jagger Reed issued a statement on Twitter. However, Fowler has now made some clarifications. It was reported that the two stars had asked for their releases from WWE a couple of weeks back. The former grizzled young veterans have been a mainstay on NXT and is also a part of the schism alongside Joe Gacy and Ava Rain. Reed took to Twitter earlier today to say that the company had denied the 
release requests from the tag team and that their contracts would be expiring in October 2023. The former James Drake also appeared to have the team's future planned, saying that they would share their next chapter after their release. As of today, another UWE has denied my request for my release. I want to thank you all for your support throughout my career. I'll never take that for granted. My contract with WWE expires on 14th October 2023. I'm excited to share our next chapter once we are free agents. Rip Fowler has now issued a further statement. He said that their statements about asking to be released from the company were simply factual in nature to keep their fans updated. He also said that he wished Joe Gacy and Ava Rain the best and sent them love. Our statements tonight are simply factual and intended to keep our fans who have been asking questions updated. I would like to add that at Joe Gacy and at of all underscore are both boss and will continue to smash everything that they do. Lots of love for both, he wrote. At the moment, it's not clear how the company will react to them going public about their issues and if they will be released soon. Do you think Rip Fowler and Jagger Reed will be released from their contracts soon by the company? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. MDB makes Roman Reigns even more powerful following Triple A's announcement. Tonight's episode of WWE Raw saw Triple H reintroduce the World Heavyweight Championship due to Roman Reigns' reduced schedule. While this is a great development as both brands will finally have separate world titles, the tribal chief may have simply laughed at his television back home. The biggest reason for the return of the big gold belt, as cited by the game, was so that the world champion could appear every week on Raw or SmackDown. This hasn't been the case since Reigns won the WWE Championship and unified it with the Universal title. But now that someone else will be a fighting champion, this puts less pressure on the big use to show up even semi-regularly. Furthermore, Triple H didn't even seem to attempt to negotiate a title split between Roman Reigns' two belts despite him barely even showing up anymore. He is enabling the Bloodline's leader to continue his tyrannical reign without any issues, which would only make it a more significant issue. So while superstars are fighting hard to win the World Heavyweight title, Reigns can slightly remain the undisputed WWE Universal Champion for as long as he wants. He may even come dangerously close to Bruno Sammartino's record-breaking reign of 2,803 days. If he were to achieve this unthinkable feat, it would be in 2028. All the head of the table would need to do is defend both his belts around five times a year, while the gaps between his appearances keep increasing. However, it's okay, because at least the World Heavyweight Champion would show up every week. Fans were hoping for WWE to assert that Roman Reigns had to vacate one of his world titles due to his increased absence from television. However, reintroducing the World Heavyweight Championship has only solidified that the Tribal Chief is staying on top for a long time. Reigns doesn't need to get pinned for a new world champion to be crowned, which makes it seem like a consolation prize, even if it is not. Either way, the big gold belt will need serious work if it is to be on the level of the undisputed WWE Universal title. As the story goes, Roman Reigns has become so powerful that the company had to bring in a new world title because of him. It will only get worse for the superstars drafted to the same brand as the Tribal Chief. How long do you think Roman Reigns will remain champion? Leave your predictions in the comments section below. WWE fans want Seth Rollins to become the new World Heavyweight Champion. Fans would love to see current WWE superstar Seth Rollins as the new World Heavyweight Champion at Night of Champions. On tonight's episode of Raw, Triple H announced the arrival of a brand new World Heavyweight Championship. The game revealed that the new champion would be crowned at the upcoming Night of Champions on May 27. Soon after, Ryan Satin asked fans if Seth Rollins would become the next WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Most of the fans agreed with the idea, while a few others didn't. At SummerSlam 2019, Rollins defeated Brock Lesnar Lesnar to win the Universal Championship, in a brief reign with the belt and eventually lost it to the Fiend at Crown Jewel 2019. Since then, Rollins hasn't won a world title in the company. The Visionary would love to get his hands on the new World Heavyweight Championship at Night of Champions. It remains to be seen if he will achieve this feat next month. What do you think? Do you want to see Seth Rollins as the new World Heavyweight Champion? Sound off in the comments section below. Creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me 